Yeriz yok Bakıcan. Right, so if you're ready and understood, considering the teaching can you begin? Hello, I am Dr. Muhammad, one of the exam surgical candidates. Today I have been asked to ask you some questions related to your condition. Are you okay with that? Yes, I'm, I'm okay. Can go ahead. Thank you. May I confirm your name and age, please? Okay, I'm uh, Ismail. I'm 77 years old. Nice to meet you. So what's brought you here today? Okay, uh, Doc, uh, I've been having um, um, difficulty in passing urine these days, and I, I, I can't empty my bladder well. I strain to pass urine, and um, it's, I'm very uncomfortable whenever I want to use my waterways, I, um, and it's getting worse. I'm really so sorry to hear that. When did you first notice that? Yeah, it's up to six months now. Yes. Okay. Did it start suddenly or gradually? Yes, it was uh, just gradual and um, it's been getting worse with no relief. And um, that's why I'm worried. I'm, I'm not getting any better. Okay. Is there anything to make it stop or increase? No. Even when I push, uh, if I push thinking it will improve the stream it still doesn't uh, and it just feel as if i'm still having urine in my bladder that's so okay do you get about the night to go to pass yes. water yes yes i i wake up now like uh, i used to initially i don't wake up to pass urine once i'm going to bed but now i get up like four to five times okay do you have difficulty of starting the stream Yes, I have that. I have that. I noticed. And okay. That is also not coming out well. Okay. So there is a, a powerful stream or weakness stream or it's normal? Okay. Yeah, it's not coming out well. So I think it's, it's just sometimes it's even it drops on my clothing. So instead of pushing it into the um, the WC and it come, it just touches me or my body. I'm sorry for that. Do you have any long stand in tripling at the end of the passing urine? Yes, yeah, I still have drops and um, it doesn't stop immediately. And sometimes when I, you know, when I um, pull up my shorts back, I still see some urine on, on it. So. Okay, do you have any blood in your urine? No, I've never seen blood, no blood. Okay. Do you have any pain associated with? Uh, well, just discomfort. It's quite. I'm not just feeling okay, but no serious pain. Because okay. I, I still can pass urine, but not completely. Okay. Did you notice any? I uh, have any lost weight recently. No, I've not been losing weight. Um, okay, do you have a loss of appetite? My appetite is fine. Okay, do you have any back pain? No. Do you have any difficulty with the erection? No, I don't have any difficulty in erection. Okay, do you have any weakness in your legs or numbness? No, I don't. I don't. Okay. Uh, do you have any other chronic condition? What do you mean by chronic condition, Doc? 
uh, it's like you have any diabetes, hypertension, asthmatic. Any yeah, medical I'm... condition for which you see your GP. Okay, I'm, I'm hypertensive and I'm on my antihypertensive drugs. My last blood pressure check was okay, what my GP told me. Okay, so you are on long-term medications. Do you know what drugs you are taking? Yes, I, I take amlodipine and um, just amlodipine. I think that's what I do. Okay, do you know the dose? No, I I just take one okay. tablet. Okay, do you have any allergic to any drugs? No, I'm not allergic. Is there any family history like conditions? Well, um, my dad is also hypertensive, but um, I don't know about this um, urinary complaints with my dad. I'm not sure he has. It. I'm not sure. Okay. Have you had any surgeries before? No surgeries. I've never been operated on. Okay. Can I ask you some personal question, please? Okay. Okay. What's your occupation? Yes, I'm a... Yeah, I'm a retired civil servant. I used to work in a uh, in factory. So. Okay, who is at home with you? My wife and my three kids. Okay, do you drink alcohol or smoke? I take alcohol socially and um, yeah, cigarettes. I take um, like two sticks per day. But okay. I, stopped, I stopped a few, like two, three years ago. Uh, for how many long you you smoke? Maybe for 20, 25 years. Okay. And uh, what do you think is the cause? Well, I I don't know. I don't know if it's because I'm getting old. Maybe. Maybe it's part of aging process. I'm not sure. And that's why I've come to you. What is your biggest concern? My concern is it's six months and it's not getting better. So I'm worried. What do you expect us to do for you? I just expect you to open up my waterways and let me feel better. Like a young man once again. Okay. Can you present your history now? 70 years old male presented it has difficult to pass during. Yes. And he is hypertensive. He's taking amlodipine, five milligrams. And uh, the history is for six months ago. And he has no loss of appetite, no loss of weight. And he is uh, a smoker and no family history. Okay. So, what are the differential diagnoses that you'll consider? It can be to benign prostatic hyperplasia, can be due to CA prostate or bladder CA, also can be due to UTI, it can be due to neurological disorder. Okay. How do you plan to manage this patient? After taking the history, I will examine the patient's abdomen and do the rectal examination. And also I will ask for investigations, routine investigation, CBC, urea, and electrolyte and also urine analysis and protein specific antigen and also i will ask for abdominal ultrasound and transrectal ultrasound okay what are the uh, alternative management or treatment options that you can offer this patient it can be either medical or surgical medical can be due to uh, such as five alpha rated test of steroid or one alpha Genetic receptor blockers such as tamsulin. Surgically, the treatment can be to uh, transfer section of prostate. Sure. Okay. Right. Two seconds. Right. Can you give the feedback first? Uh, Dr. Mustafa, can you give the feedback? Okay. Uh, <clears throat> yes, I think... Uh, <clears throat> um, yes, Dr. Mohammed, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I think he, uh, the pace at which, at which he was going, I initially thought he wouldn't go that far. And 
he, he yes, he went he went far. I think it was just the systemic review that was uh, left. left yeah. And uh, I think another thing is one has to be very careful. If a patient does not know much about the drug, I think it's just okay to go ahead with okay, rather than maybe probing to know if it's not going to be related to this particular uh, complaint. Because for example, if it's let's say impotence, I think that's when the IT hypertensive, the specific one is usually important. And I didn't give uh, the dose. So when yeah. you were in your summary, you said five milligram. I think that might also- Be a negative. Um, yeah, yeah. yeah. So that because just... uh, yeah, once you don't know the dose, you don't mention it because you didn't get the dose. Uh, just okay. say the patient is taking uh, antihypertensive medication. Yeah. So I, I feel it was just your, and I think sometimes the systemic review or anywhere you didn't cover, you can always ask mention. if you yeah. mention it before your summary. I think that's why um, uh, Madam usually allows us, doesn't uh, usually interrupt or interject when we are summarizing. And so we can usually chip it in. And then uh, summary. Actually, I don't at that moment because at, at that time I have only three minutes to ask three questions. Yeah, and yeah. if I correct you at that time, uh, then time will go and I won't be able to ask the question. And the discussion that we can do afterwards when bell goes, then you can always, and then you can also go back and listen and correct each other as well. Because if you think that you have said something and then you'll go back and listen to the recording and you haven't said it, then you can correct yourself or you can even listen and you can correct your structure. But this summary is very important. I have always told you that okay. it should be constructed and you should always write it down what patient is telling you and you should always tell the positive finding. And what yeah. uh, your dif top dif differential was and it, um, how you ruled it out. So there was no stone, so there was no infection. So you can just rule it out and you can say, you can, okay, that was most likely benign prostatic hypertrophy. Okay. Then Good. I think urethral stricture too, maybe history of instrumentation in the past or history of uh, having a UTI Soma. in the past. Yeah. So. And the doctor, since here she wrote a uh, history of trauma mm. so that yeah could have been an allergy as well if the patient is allergic to any medication good uh, thank, thank you, you. Very sure.